Babe, you ready? I'm always in here before you. Sing your song. What did you do? What happened to your hair? I don't know. Let's discuss. <laughs> of taking the stage. I'm the math guy, Steve. Um, Pagey Babe is not in this room right now. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to do this. Uh, I'm sure whenever we post this episode, uh, it'll be pretty intense um, because this is the last time my hair will look like this, at least for a very long time anyway. <coughs> um, I uh, uh, will be cutting it, um, and we'll be explaining exactly why I'm cutting it or why I grew in the first place. Maybe we'll just have our own episode on that. Maybe that's what this episode is going to be about. Uh, we'll see. I'll talk to Pagey Babe. But, um, yeah, I'll be cutting my hair. Uh, so I just wanted to um, do this last little last page show. Oh, you're going to say bye to your hair? No, okay. Not, not, okay. It's going a little far, a little much. Okay. Anyway, um, but, yes, I'll be cutting my hair. And so, um, yeah, enjoy this episode. Bye. <laughs> have a good one. What up, though? Welcome to another episode of Taking the Stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Mad Guy, Steve. This is... Pagey, babe. Pagey, where's your Pagey, babe? That was funny. Okay, so, um, how was your day, babe? What's the news of the day? Um, the week? I don't, today was one of our better days. Mm -hmm. We both were sick oh, today over an hour. We both were sick on Wednesday. <laughs> and it was a very long day. It was, it you was know, good. like, going through, if I had like a cold or something like that, I feel like, you know, like a post nasal drip or like something like that, I feel like I could muster through it. Yeah. But like, having something wrong with your stomach, that will take you out. It's rough. It was rough. Yes. Well, was, um, well, I don't think we, we ate something that was incorrect either. Orange juice, some roast beef or something. I don't, we don't know exactly what it was. Um, yeah. And so, but uh, yeah. Well, no, because the up. kids had the juice too. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what juice. I was thinking of the roast. roast beef. But they had roast beef too, so I don't know. You have any mashed potatoes. I don't know. It was one of the three, but it was a lot. It was. It was. It was quite a day um, uh, Wednesday and so. Uh, but yeah, today was better. Yes, we yes. made it. We made it. We made it through mm -hmm. another one, boss. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what are we talking about today, babe? Okay, so today is, you know, I feel like it's very obvious what our topic today would be. I don't even know what you're talking about, babe. Yeah. I don't even know what you mean, son. A long time coming. What? What do you mean? What? It was only... A true gift to multiple people. It's only a few... A few years. A couple of families? A couple of families. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, twelve years ago. Something like that. Something like that. Right. Um, yeah, I think we should. Yeah, that's a, that's a good topic, man. I know. I I okay, topic. so we're doing it here. Oh, well, let me ask you, since I guess this is another one where I'm hosting. Yeah. How was your day and how was your week? Uh, okay, my day. Uh, today was, like you said, better. Um, my week, it was interesting, busy, yeah. exhausting, getting back into the group of things after our feast days and, That was uh, so relaxing, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was relaxing. Come you okay? It was relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so getting, getting back to it after our feast days, um, and all that, um, uh, having a whole week off from work, um, and then yeah, my students are clearly ready for, for this mess to be done, just like you're, I mean, just like you are, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, but uh, it's been an interesting week, been a um, busy week, uh, but you know we, we're making it through. We made it. Right. The end of the week. Right. Okay. Right. Um, almost in the week. All right. So first up. Okay. 
give us a little backstory. <clears throat> uh -huh. Now, what about, tell us about the new dude. The new dude, okay. Um, okay, backstory. Uh, let's see. If y'all can't tell, I'm very excited. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, sm you're smiling way <laughs> harder than you have in any previous episode of this podcast. That's for sure. um, no, no. Uh, okay, so I started growing my hair um, because uh, I told myself I wouldn't cut it until I get my PhD. Um, so it's kind of a daily reminder of me to get that PhD. I, I have not gotten a PhD. Um, but, you know, uh, it was about that time, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I started. I mean, again, most of my life I actually had short hair, um, except for my um, my right tails. Oh, I mean, my goodness. We'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's in, uh, I, thought, I just thought it was a new journey, kind of. Um, yeah. So started growing my hair, and then, yeah, 12 years later, I finally cut it again, I suppose. Yeah. So it was like most of the questions. Hey, what? <laughs> it was like most of the questions. Are <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's cool. So now that we've done a little backstory, let's talk about, I guess, our the differences and some similarities that we've had being, you know, who we are and the ups and downs and hills and valleys of hair for us growing up. Okay. Okay, well, before we do that, one more thing is... Okay. I started growing my hair because of the infamous song, one of my favorite songs growing up, and that is India Ari, I Am Not My Hair. More specifically, India Ari, I Am Not My Hair, the remix, okay? Really? Yeah, you know, that's what... Uh, um, Akon. Akon, I am Jesus. Wow. Trying to keep it. But, uh... uh you know, if you don't like that, but put the with the wave cap and the cops with the mask, I got braids and ain't seen nothing like that in all my days. You're judging one another by the appearance. Yes, indeed, I feel you, girl. Now go ahead, talk to the rest of the world, cuz, cuz, cuz. The dude you laughing at, fam. I thought that was a pretty good rendition there. You know. It was alright. Um, but yeah, no, so, so, and that, that song kind of, um, hit me hard growing up for sure, because, you know, I grew up, uh, well, to your point, um, uh, I grew up where I was told all my life, oh, you got good hair. Mm -hmm. And that was always weird for me because I didn't know what that meant. It was, it was, it was weird. Like, just, even though y'all wore it really short? Yeah, it was just, I guess, I, I mean, now I understand a little bit of what people meant, like it was a good grain of hair mm -hmm. or, um. Uh, but it was weird because it was kind of, you were treated as, oh, okay, um, you got it better off or you were more well off mm -hmm. in that, in that, you know, in the black community, the black culture, right? Because, um, your hair isn't nappy, quote unquote, naturally or something, something of that nature. It just felt weird. Mm -hmm. It felt kind of like, um, or, or you get all the time. What y'all mix with? Yeah, I was just about to say, people ask, used to ask you that a lot. And I'm, I'm like, it's just black. Just, mm. just more black. Black with black. <laughs> um, I like that, more black. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it was just, it, that was just weird for me. And so, um, but that, I'm not, my hair stuck with me in that sense as well, right? That, yeah, but what's on, underneath the hair? What's under, what's, my brain, I think, is what I want people to mm. see, well, in my heart. But I, that was kind of go hand in hand. What I want people to know me for, not for my hair, and so it's just always weird. So I just said, you know what, I'm gonna grow my hair out, and how it grows, that's how it grows. Mm how -hmm. it grows out of my head, that's how um, uh, I'm gonna have it. So uh, instead of the uh, uh, ball fade and and and, <laughs> and the, uh, the arrow pointing to the back on the side, and and the, wait, the, hold the on, you used to have that. That's what I said. Instead of all that, <laughs> instead of having those. Instead, I said, well, you know, I'm going to just have her the hair grows out of my head. That's how I'm going to wear my hair. Um, unless a special occasion comes. Um, a couple weddings. Mm hmm And. Because um, she was not playing. Oh. <laughs> she was not. She was not. Indeed, she was not. N no, neither one of the she's that we're referencing in those hmm. weddings were not playing. Um, 
But yeah, but that's I mean that's part of my that's pretty much my hair journey, I guess. Uh, what about you, Baby Bit? As the host tonight, <laughs> you're gonna do a huge big old yawn. No, that's host, why that's yeah. why I took a pause so you could cut it off. As the host. You know how long I was trying to hold in and I had a cough. <laughs> I was trying to hold in too, but I wanted to take a pause so you could cut it out. <clears throat> okay, so give us two more seconds and then ask me I guess I'll close the door during the pause. No, don't close it. Glad you got a kid. All right. All right. Hey. Not the double, yo. That's the end. I'm keeping all that in. No. All of y'all got to take a nap today. Okay. I'm keeping all that in. No, Steven. Okay, so Paige Bay, how about you? Your hair journey. Your eyes watery. <laughs> You can tell she's yawned <laughs> double time. Tell her eyes are watching. And like my face is turning red. <laughs> she can't hide that up. <laughs> she don't know this on the video. Um, growing up, uh, I do have a very like kinky texture. Um, I've always had like really thick hair and I've always had a lot of hair. So growing up, I didn't have my hair i didn't want my hair natural i had relaxed hair and i don't know i guess i grew up like very black like we got our we went to the hairdresser we got our hair done or like my mom would do our hair or our, my hair I'm just talking about my sister and I. or like my mom would do uh our hair and then like my brother would go to the barber shop every week like that was just how it was and then once Wait, so quickly, so what did y'all have specific hairstyles or um, or all the hairstyles? Or, no, or, so it was I'm saying always, hairstyles like that because that's how Mel says it. Oh, yeah, I love your hairstyle. <laughs> style. That's how she says it. No, I mean, we didn't, we weren't really like able to get a bunch of like braids and stuff. I I remember like a handful of times we would get braids, um, but for the most part, we would just have like little ponytails okay. with curls or plaits mm -hmm. um just like the normal black hairstyles that you would see mm -hmm. and then if it was like an occasion like a holiday or like a funeral or something like that it would just be more curls <laughs> you, <get the> curl <laughs> you know curl. you, know, you curl, sit under the drive with the hard rollers and go to sleep like this mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh-huh and um and then, like, once I got to high school, that's, like, when I transitioned to, like, doing my own hair. Mm -hmm. Because my mom, she was just like, a, let me hurry up and get this done. And, like, I, I was, like, a high schooler, so mm -hmm. I wanted my hair to look a certain way. So it took a lot of, you know, trying this and trying that. Won't work. <laughs> Try this and that. Won't work. Okay. Until I, like, got into... You know the group of things and how I how I liked my hair basically. Mm -hmm. So you know, a lot of different styles, a lot of burnt hair, yes. <laughs> a lot of just different things. And then I remember like junior year or something like that, I got my hair cut and it was like so short, like the shortest my hair had ever been. But it was also very healthy after that point. So from then on, I just started doing like what we call a roller set and a wrap. And like I perfected that. You remember, like even going into college, I used to be like, all right, Sunday, that's my hair day. This is when we all put the pictures right about here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my hair day. I would do my same little roller wrap. And, you know, I roller set my hair, wrap it up. And that would last me like. The whole week or almost a whole week and I, it was my routine until maybe um, i don't know when i started transitioning my hair i really can't remember when it was okay i know it was maya's undergrad graduation because i had already started transitioning before then but i was mm -hmm. still in like the baby phases so i remember for her graduation i didn't know what to do with my hair because I had transitioned it so much, but I hadn't really like cut that much of it off. So I knew I had to do something with my hair for her graduation. So I ended up just putting a relaxer in and just starting all back over. So I know I can start again from that point. Mm -hmm. And then like since then, I've just been natural. 
So I, we're not going to count the time, but it's been a minute. <laughs> you don't tell your age? No, we won't, we won't say any of that. Uh, but okay, yeah. So, like the people who actually listen to this, like, don't know. Every single one of them know exactly how old you are. Right. Okay. Every single one of them. Um, but uh, to to that point, okay. So I guess uh, to to what you said about um, your mom doing your hair, uh, that's a the running joke was when I was when we first met was pops got to cut my hair. Oh my goodness. And, yes. and and that that stemmed from the fact that every two weeks my dad cut my hair ever since I was a kid since I was mm-hmm. a baby, um, and that was for for the better and for the worse. In the matter, he cut my hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember the first time he cut off my tail, and I cried. <laughs> I I cried like big big tears. Cried. Um, I was pretty. I was pretty I'm upset. Really shocked by that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's that's not necessary. <laughs> yeah, big go. tears for a lot less. Hold on. Hold on. What you mean? I don't. I don't be crying like that. Why? 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 Answer Pinocchio. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, I think that that part was always funny to me. Sorry, cut you off. It was just always. It was funny at first until I understood what that meant. So what did that mean? I heard a baby. Of course. You so when I used to laugh at it, it was because I would always think like, you're grown. How do you not have a barber? <laughs> like, you know, because even in college, like people were like hustling and like cutting hair and like dorm rooms and stuff like that. I'm like, but you go to Baton Rouge all the time to get your hair cut. Like I just could not wrap my mind around it at first. And it just seemed so like. Like, you know, the movies where, like, the kid is sitting in the kitchen with, like, the thing draped. Yeah. And, like, the dad is, like, cutting the hair. Like, that's what I always pictured it to be. And it's kind of like that. Yeah, that. Yes. That. Okay, it, well, okay, so to well, your, until I understood, like, what that meant to you and, like, y'all's relationship and stuff like that. Yeah, so, okay, so, so, um, first, mm-hmm. to your original point, people go to other cities to get their hair cut all the time. Okay. Okay, not... 20 year olds in college. Yes, 20 year olds in college. Okay, not you at 20 in college. What do you mean, not me at 20? Well, you're saying they go to other cities like people who are like. I was gonna find one in Hammond, Louisiana? There were a lot of people doing hair. Other college students? Yes. Instead of getting it cut from the same person that cut my hair all of my life, you're gonna get a (laughs) random college student (laughs) who said, I know how to work clippers. (laughs) That guy? No, it, what I'm saying was, what I'm saying is, it was And just, it was free. What I'm saying is, I wasn't thinking of all of that. I was just like, most of the people I knew had somebody on campus who was already cutting their hair or like there is... Those set, are people who they already knew. What? Okay. Anyway, neither here nor there. But yes, it was the, main, just, the main thing It was is, just a little off to me. Only because I had never seen that. I got you. But the main thing is what the real point behind me going to my haircut with my dad is the second point you made. Which is, yeah, I mean, that was me and my dad for a while had a strained relationship. And that was actually, actually, well, even, okay, rewind a little bit more. Uh, my dad always cut a lot of men in my family's hair. Mm-hmm. Um, he learned still how to does. cut. And he still does. He learned how to cut uh, when he was um, in the military, uh, and uh, yeah, so like he even cut my grandfather's hair and a bunch of my uncle's hair, his cousins, all those. Uh, everybody came over to get their hair cut by my dad, but also it was kind of a way for him to just have a, a good conversation with you. Um, and that was he with, does oh, love to talk. And he and, and he's he's a talker. He's a talker for sure. Um, so are, do you see someone else? On I keep feeling like I hear one of the kids. Sorry. Okay, you gonna hear him? They are gonna let you know. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, so yeah, so that was kind of the main reason why, uh, we, everybody would come and get their haircut with him. And even though me and him didn't always see eye to eye, that was a time where we just at least could talk. So even um, when y'all had a strained relationship, he would still cut your hair? Yeah. 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 He would still cut my hair, um, every two weeks or three weeks. And whenever I went, went back to the Baton Rouge to get my, uh, not necessarily to get my haircut, but when I was back in Baton Rouge, yeah. How was that? How was what? Having him cut your hair even though y'all were like barely speaking. Y'all would still have a conversation? Most times. I mean not all the time. Oh. 
Sometimes it was just, yeah, you get my hair done. I'd be sitting there asking questions. It'd be a very short conversation. <laughs> and then when he's done, <laughs> we're done. Now, here's the weird part about getting your hair cut by your dad. Since you were a kid, he don't always do a great job, but you can't fire him. <laughs> so sometimes you're lying to be like this, but you got a big game coming, you got a big date. You got you got you going to, to prom and you got a side hey. up here and a side down here. Or you got one of your, your sides, one of them way down here, the other one way up here. And you're like, bro, you losing it. You can't you can't what if he was you really like, got it no more, bro. What if he was like, all right, he wanna give me one more answers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> just cut this side of the beard. Don't even you didn't even shape up this side of the beard. He said you should have stayed for the full conversation. Look at half your mustache. You are you good? Yeah, your scissors to cut the other side. This guy. Um, but yeah, but I mean, growing up, that was my hair journey. And then when I decided to grow my hair out, then it was more of um, just a, a new time um, and kind of a new journey for myself. And um, yeah, and then. So like as a kid, do you got, did you guys have like any say over how your hair was? That's a great question great point um uh not much um it could it could not be long mm -hmm. um, this was except for the tail except for the tail don't ask me please explain it. the tail for the, those who don't understand. okay before i get to the tail uh because i don't want to forget this point and that is part of it okay. is because not only was it so religious customs was kind of the reason why we weren't supposed to have long hair mm -hmm. um not necessarily that it's directly biblical, but more of this was understood that, or understood that women have long hair, men have short hair, that type of thing. And so that's, that's the main reason why we weren't allowed to have long hair. Now the tail, there was different, <laughs> there's different, um, uh, uh, um, uh, different styles of what our tail was. We had the bushy tail that we started with, which was just kind of think of a spring. Okay. We have that type of Please tail. say you have pictures so we can enter it. I, I'm going to find try to find it. <laughs> and then uh, we also had the rat tail, which is literally like, think of a rat's tail. It was just kind of hanging down here. Um, actually, the guy from uh, Gronish had, had one similar uh, as we had. Oh. Um, the main person on Gronish, the main guy. There's Zoe and then there's Vivek? the other guy. Vivek is like the seventh most important <laughs> person in that group. With the girls, yeah, but he's like the the two love interests are the main guys on that. Oh, not Simmons. And oh. then I'm about to say Diggy is probably one of them in fact. Then Diggy, I guess. I think it's Ziggy Diggy. What's that oh, boy name? That's why I say Simmons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Russell, you know Russell. Um, but no, but uh, the main, the not the main interest. Oh, not the one. The other one. The other one. He got to take. Look, the last. The other, you know, the dude. I guess because you never see it. Well, well, that was kind of the main thing. thing when you first met him, and he had to tell the whole time. Oh, hmm. I'm gonna do that. Anywho, um, but yeah, so that that was uh, that's what the tale was. It was kind of, and then yeah, he just decided we were too old, so he just cut him off. <laughs> now he cut mine off. I cried, but then he cut mine off. He go shame. So you gonna cut mine off, pops? Is of course. <laughs> Gotta match his brother. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> Anywho. What else you got? That's funny. Oh wait, okay, so I have a question. Uh, my love's ax. Um, you the host. Fine. Oh, fine. Okay. Uh, and this is just hair in general. Mm -hmm. We're both very hairy people. Hold up now. No, no, no. We in front, we in front, we in front, family. Right before this, I was like, let me tweet this little one. Right? Like, maybe they can see. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, I'm curious. What? Uh, Okay, so at least for me, uh -huh. I know being very hairy, I was very subconscious about that. Mm -hmm. And kind of, you know, eventually when I got to high school and then, you know, you just stop caring. But you also, like me, I'm just very hairy everywhere. And so I mean, you got on my toes and my fingernails, all of my arm and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, was that a thing or did that matter to you at all growing up? Yes. Okay. okay. You have to look at that. I say, I know I was subconscious. I'm just not making sure. I was always very hairy as you already put it um i just remember being like but we could okay 
for me, it was like we couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Like, and my mom was like, shaving it all? No, there was like no shaving, no waxing. Mm -hmm. It was like, just put your lotion on, anybody's gonna notice. I'm like, but I can't see it from here. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's dark hair. And, um, it just, it always stood out like, I was just this like skin kid, like we had to wear skirts to school mm -hmm. or dresses and things like that. And so it was very obvious unless I wanted to wear like stockings all the time. Yeah. And then by the time you go to high school, of course, nobody's wearing like stockings or anything like that. And I still couldn't shave or anything. Oh, I have this one story. So this one time, this girl in high school was like, Oh, so one time bank camp. It's one time bank camp. This girl was like, uh, "Oh, like my stepmom can get you some there or something like that." And I had I only seen it on commercials. Get to school, I was like, "Oh, you got it." Da, da, da. It like burst all in her locker, so I still could not get the hair off my legs. Do you know how sad I was? You couldn't wait ten more minutes to let that burst out your locker. I'm gonna use that this period, right? But. What happened? Oh, so after that, I like found this razor in my mom's room and I shaved, but I didn't know how to use a razor or anything. I had only seen it. When you oh, only see mercy. stuff on commercials, I had never like watched anybody shave or watched her shave because my mom doesn't really have any hair on her body. And so, I, like, I didn't know what I was doing. Look, if you see her legs, I'm you glad really, you say it now. I, I just I never noticed hair. it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And so, I just dry shaved and was burning. Like my skin is already sensitive. Like it was the worst. It just felt like I don't know. I want to say it felt like ant bites, but it didn't. It was just on fire. Like my legs are on fire. And then that wasn't my only bad experience <laughs> with trying to remove hair. My <laughs> word. When I was old enough to use Nair, like towards the end of high school, I didn't know that. You couldn't leave it on that long. I mean, I know what the directions say, but I was like, oh no, that's for people with regular hair on their legs. But my hair is like coarser, so let me leave it on a little longer. Yeah, and I'm pretty all sure, the way on. Like the top layer of my skin. Like, when I say it felt like, have you ever had a really bad, well, you do have a really bad burn right now, but have you ever burnt like, like that full top layer off I'm of sure. that, like very soft feel on your skin? Like, that's how it was. So I've never used Nair after that. But um, yes, I definitely learned my lesson. And then I also just thought of precautionary tip. <laughs> I just put myself on this routine eventually where I was just like, I'm gonna give myself a full day to do all my maintenance. So I would like do my hair, like eyebrows, um, shave. Like I would have that routine all the time. And so I would like shave like every other day. And then I'll do my hair like once a week. I don't know. Hair is just, it's always a big thing with me. Do you remember your mom waxed my arms for a <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to the Queen. So and she not just did. for the wedding, because after the wedding, you started asking her to do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Still, to this day. I mean, she hasn't done it in a long time, but if I have another event, she will. <laughs> you guys are weird. I'm sorry. You and Bay are weird. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, after a brief interruption. We call it intermission, okay. Intermission? Okay. It's an interruption for me, okay? <laughs> yeah, all right. True, 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 true. <sighs> He's back now. Okay. He's one of you know. My baby is finally... Are we going to save that? Save so what? The, the... No, no. That he's hairy? No. Oh, because he's hairy too. He's very hairy. Okay. They both are. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, yeah. Long hair don't care. Long hair. Okay. Yes. Third finally has a tooth. Yeah. yeah At yeah. what? Ten months. It took him a while. <laughs> yes. Okay. So he's a little cranky up and down. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But um. That's what she was whispering to me. That I know. I didn't know we were gonna do an episode about it. I don't know. Um, about his tooth, teeth. Point. Oh, yeah. I guess that's really important to. Somebody over there. Anywho. But yeah, he's rather hairy. 
And I'll actually, do a whole episode about his fit suit. Actually, part of the reason why, I, so the reason why I cut my hair is uh, multifold. It was about that time. Also, I was getting ordained as a minister. So a uh, lot of newness, right? Yeah, a lot of newness, and then yeah. of course him. I was gonna get my hair cut with him anyway. Mm -hmm. um, he's growing hair. Finally, at the back of his head as well as just, uh, <laughs> he, has, he has a lot of hair on top. A lot of yes. hair back, yes, back yes. in the back here. So he's getting his hair cut anyway. He got the part in the front. Yeah, yeah part, part in front. Business on the side. Retirement on the back. <laughs> <laughs> he is bald back there. Not gonna do is break my son, all right? <laughs> not that front company. Not a front company. This is not company. These ain't company? Mm -mm. It's family. It's, it's, it's exactly. not folk. They know what you look like. Wow. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, so uh Are you gonna teach him your uh your signature, your pink lotion? Hola, 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 hola. Okay, please do hot every day, every day in college. Mm -hmm. You will put on your pink lotion. Please show the people how you put on this First pink of lotion. All, what we're not going to do. And what type of pink fact, lotion was it? Yeah. Skip over the fact that pink lotion was the jam. Every every, every black family know. No, it wasn't the hair jam. Not like gel. Mm -mm. Oh no, no 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 no! This is just it's called. It was the jam. Teddy jam. <laughs> it was the jam. Okay, pink lotion was, and not not the the name brand. You had name brand pink lotion, and then you had the one that just said pink lotion. Okay, we talking. This this wasn't even the thick one. You had the liquid. It was liquid pink lotion. <laughs> it was really watery. But you had to okay put the pink lotion on your head, and then you go boom, 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 boom. Okay, get the sides, get the back, boom, boom. Then at, when I was young, I didn't have a beard, so it was just kind of you got a little bit more. Then you go okay. <laughs> And then we go this part right here, go right here. Now, when you got the beard, now you got to go like this and like this. Now, we don't use pink lotion no more, okay? That's past say we, we we grown now. We older than that. So we use either shea butter or use a beard and butter, okay? You, you go wild. But it's the same, same process. You still do the same, same process. Thing. You go well, 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 okay? Get the back, catch the your side. sides, catch your sides. And you whoa, whoa, whoa. Boom, boom, catch right here. And then you get another, another little juke to juke. Then you go, whoa, 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 whoa. boom, boom, <laughs> catch the bird, catch the bird. Now, now that you all moisturized, you double back with the brush. Whoop there, whoop there, whoop there. <laughs> you get the sides right here, the back, back. Now that you got the beard, make sure it's fluff. You don't brush back no more. You fluffing. You brush forward. You come right here, up top, under me, right there, whoa, 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 whoa. And now we're good to go. And if you're listening to the audio podcast, you got to watch the YouTube to see what that is like. You hear me, son? You hear me, mm. son? All right, we're about to wrap this up. All right, what, 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 what I have to What you trying to say? Hola, hola. <laughs> I just, that was a whole tutorial. That was a whole tutorial. Yes. And that's what you're going to pass down to your son? You heard me? You heard me? Hey, get, get, come here, young whipper snapper. Let me show you something. Gotta be some pink lotion. You gotta go back old school. Back. Give me pink lotion here. You put the pink lotion here. That's too much. That's too much. Now you get, put a little bit of that here. I put it in mine. I put it in mine. You get, that's as much as you need right there. Wow. There you go. Wow, 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 wow. Top, top, top. Sides back. You go double eyebrow around the side over the stash. Catch this little piece if you got some. Are you talking about me greasing them down? Okay. You want to make that boy an oiled piece of chicken that's about to go in grease. How you be greasing them down? And, and she did it to Mel too. Ask my mama. Mel and Steve. Why you didn't say black don't crack? It, it ain't no way to crack if you put that much oil on it. Anywho, what else you got on the docket, show? Um, anything that you want to like get, not give. What do you think we could pass on to the kids, like from <laughs> the long journey with our hair and like the different things we tried and just the identity that like hair in itself is for you? Yeah, so that's a great question. Because I think, okay, so 
for me, hair is just hair. That's what it's always been, just hair. It, it means very little as far as your purpose, as far as what the Almighty created you to be, as far as who you are to other people. In actuality, it should be that. In reality, people see your hair and they, rightly so or not, judge you on who you are, who they think you are. And then now you have to prove them wrong. And so don't put that barrier or don't put that weight on yourself if it's unnecessary. I think that's what I've learned from my hair journey. I had to prove people wrong every step of the way because I wore my hair a certain way. And that was exhausting. I, it was a, a weight I put on myself for no reason at all. Uh, or for a reason that I needed uh, that weight on my shoulder. I don't know, neither here nor there. The point is I put the weight on my own shoulder because it was having to prove other people wrong rather than just being myself and enjoying being me. So I think they can learn from that. At least I'll teach Steven to learn from that. Now, you know, but it's the same, like the same, same lesson. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's what I would give to them. I agree. Was that succinct enough? It was. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Like you said, hair is just hair. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like, have fun with it. Do, I mean, I don't go out crazy or anything. No, but you have fun. You, no. do it, you do it, you do it. But don't, don't feel so like encompassed by it to where you just, you feel so uncomfortable being who you are. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of what it is to me. And also, don't get a quick weave. I don't understand why people do that. Have you ever seen that? Who's the people on the podcast listening to that Okay, spoiler alert. You got to reverse. And <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no. But uh, that was just a little joke. But still, I would just say be comfortable and also be able to speak up when you don't like something. I kind of feel like I spent a lot of time like not really liking certain things. But like you said, it was just you put this weight on yourself and you just, you don't feel like you have a voice for a lot of it. Mm -hmm. So I just want them to be comfortable and also to be comfortable enough to, you know, let us know, even though I'm pretty sure they won't, there, there's going to come a time when they're going to want certain things and we have to talk them down from things and negotiate or like me will not negotiate, but <laughs> I'm glad you said it, because you're not putting a Z in my son's head. I know that. He much. is. She want the Zion cut. She want the Zion cut. That's cute. Cool. Next, he's getting the boosted fade. Mm -hmm. Paige, no, he's not getting, <laughs> he's not, he's not getting the boosted fade, okay? All right. <laughs> I mean, as long as my son don't come home with the Cisco, I'm good. You just want him to be I-A-D-E-P-E. -E. Exactly. I was talking about a female. He ain't putting, he ain't putting the boosty fade in the sun heat. Who would you take getting a boosty fade, her or him? Now you can put the boosty fade in. <laughs> exactly. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> right. Exactly. She ain't going to go for that anyways. As much as she watched Moana, she ain't going for that in the first place. Oh. Yes. But all in all, as long as they are comfortable and making healthy decisions and they're happy, I am perfectly fine. Unless it's a Cisco. That goes for both. We were five <laughs> steps. Alright, thank you guys for taking the stage again. Oh, this camera. Alright. From me turn Eddie, we were four. <laughs> thank you guys for taking the stage with us once again. You asked me if I got any last words. I'm not saying the last word. And three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hold on, man. I ain't say my last words. Steven. Have a good one. <laughs> I thought you was about to try to sing that song. <laughs>
three wishes. Oh my goodness. Ooh, How do I cut this off? From touching the heavens. Cut my light off. That wasn't even. Wait, okay, you can't cut, cut the light off. Hold on, wait. Cut wait, your light wait, off. Wait, what you doing with the lights? Hold on. Bye, folks. Wait, hold on, wait. wait. You made it dark in here. It's dark in the room. Oh, wrong camera. Three wishes. <laughs> you don't even know who that was. That wasn't even Cisco. Oh, yeah. It was Drew Hill, Paige. It was Drew Hill. Which was Cisco was in Drew Hill? This guy. Hey, man. Get some clout on your uh, party. Your visual party. What's it called? Boy, you look. I don't know what she look like. Let me all that grow up, bro. I'm too big to talk. You got a baby head on my baby head. My baby head. Hey, you got a baby head. Don't, don't lose it. She gonna cry in the car. <laughs> she gonna cry in the car. <laughs> Shane, calm down, please, bro. Let's do it. Go look at Daddy's hair. You want to touch it? Uh huh. Touch Daddy's hair. Let's do it. Woo! Oh, you first time touching it. Shane, back up. Let the boy family enjoy his. Steven! Look at me, look at that. He's <laughs> like, okay, I know the nose. I know the nose. <laughs> Twenty seven. Go help fuck clean up the hair, but Shane. Shane. Yeah, go help fuck. Huh? Go help fuck. Let's see. Oh. 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 You don't want no memories? <laughs> Steven! Yes! Here you go. Here you go. Put your cheeks all. away! <laughs> My word! <laughs> all the teeth. What? Nigga, clap. Nigga, look at your boy, clap. I know you've been clapping for like the last two weeks. <laughs> Am I done here, Money? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, podcasters, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. You can also listen to our audio podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Have a good one.